Hello everyone and welcome to the YouTube channel The Option Strategist and guys this is the second part of the video which I have uploaded yesterday which is this best option strategy for low wicks and first of all thanks so much for giving such a good response to this first part it is almost 1000 views so guys thanks so much so I got a lot of queries that what is the adjustment of this strategy how to make adjustments and how to handle it in case the market is moving in one direction what are the conditions or situations where we can use this strategy so any particular timing or any particular period where we can use this strategy for our advantage so I will discuss that in this video please watch this video till the end okay thank you guys so let's start this so first I will take you to the so this is the strategy which we showed yesterday it is again a what a classic calendar where what I have done I'll tell you quickly I have on the 2nd September expiry I have sold 116,500 put for 34.8 and sold one 16,850 call at 30 so this becomes our strangle range then we have done buying or in calendars of 9th September expiry 16,500 put which is same strikes and 16,850 call same strike because this is a classic calendar so now just see this we are getting the max profit as 2200 max loss is also fixed right and the margin is 37,000 so if not even 40,000 you can deploy this strategy in such a low margin so guys when I deployed this when I made this today it is showing a little bit profit in the middle which is a very good thing if you can see little bit profit in the middle and definitely we can will have the advantage of wicks moving up so I will show you again so if we increase at 5% and see from 200 profit in the middle it is now around 668 700 profit in the middle right and when you move it further 10% it is now 1000 right so that's the advantage or, or beauty of this strategy so so this is the scenario when VIX moving up from a low VIX situation now how to handle this strategy if this uh, if market from 16700 moves upwards or move downwards aggressively right then how to handle this, this kind of strategy so guys let's take a scenario so in a downward scenario right what happens in a downward scenario when market falls aggressively say from 16,700 when market will come down to 16,600 you know around this point right what will happen when market falls definitely the VIX increases the IV increases so when this will happen our 16,500 put of 70 rupees will move up very fast right it will go even more than 100 rupees right because it is a calendar it has a high delta than the current expiry it has low theta than the current expiry so this 70 rupees in of 9 September will move very fast than the 16,500 of the current expiry so due to this in a downward, downward movement for good amount of time you will not see a loss you will not see a loss in this till the time it does not crosses this range which is 16,500 you know from 16,700 in a day if it comes below 200 points only then it will show you a loss but very small loss correct right? so in that scenario what you will do this this your put would be giving you profit right your call this call sell in current from 30 it would have become 15 or even less than that right this but the problem is your sell leg of 16,500 put so what you do you book say this has become 50 when market comes down to how much 16,000 
ऑलमोस्ट फाइव हंड्रेड और सिक्सटीन थाउजेंड फाइव फिफ्टी यू कैन डू दिस इफ यू सी द मार्केट इज कमिंग डाउन टू से सिक्सटीन थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड और सिक्सटीन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड फाइव हंड्रेड एंड यू कैन देन इन दैट सीनारी यू कैन बुक योर वन यू कैन स्क्वायर ऑफ योर वन पुट स्ट्राइक राइट बट राइट नो इन दिस दिस इज showing loss <coughs> because our 16500 it is showing a loss in the middle because our 16500 put is not gone up but in a in that scenario when you will book a loss here this will be in profit so this area will not be in loss correct so okay so let's take this also say 110 and it will become something like this so if market is at 16550 you will you will see if it happens the same day see the blue line it will still show you profit so that's the beauty of this strategy because of using calendars it will if the 200 point move comes same day it will be showing you a profit only not loss because this would have moved up pretty much fast than the current month strike right and then what you have to do because market has moved 200 points you also book profit in your 16850 call so say from this 30 it becomes 15 you book profit in this right and do what and sell another Move this up to say sixteen thousand seven. So, uh, guys, I will reset this. I will make this again. So, this is our strategy, which we deployed. Okay. So now I showed you on the put side. Again on the call side, it will be a similar kind of thing. On the call side, definitely it will not show you a that kind of profit because when a market moves up. the wix comes down instead of going up wix comes down so it will not show you that much profit immediately but definitely your 9 september 16850 calendar strike will move pretty fast then your the loss in the 16850 in the current month expiry sell correct so again guys what do you have to do If market reaches sixteen thousand, where it is eight fifty, so if sixteen thousand eight hundred, at that point of time, you just have to book loss and reduce one strike. So now, if further market moves up, you will start getting profit only. And do what? And book profit in your put. And move your put further up. So say from sixteen five hundred, move it to sixteen six hundred. Right. So this what this will do? This will minimize the loss in the middle. See, now there is hardly any loss left in the middle. So this way, guys, you can do the adjustment. You can fix the ranges. So say fifty fifty points away from your sell strike. So from Uh, you are sixteen eight fifty. So when market reaches at sixteen eight hundred on the upside, and when market reaches sixteen five fifty on the downside, you can reduce the one sell and move up your winning side. The call or the put, whichever is your winning side, move that side up, and you can easily exit this with one percent profit. Okay, guys, please back test this strategy. Right in Obstra, you can put it in in a week where you see a good amount of movement or volatility. You can use that. Uh, you know, even last month was pretty much volatile. You can back test this in last month weekly expiries. Okay, and let me know in the comments that how this strategy worked. Correct. Now coming to guys, uh, which are the 
situations where we can deploy a this strategy correct so i will just reset this back right so guys in which kind of situation we uh, can deploy this strategy so where we know that in a in certain scenarios when there is, is a fixed event right in case of a known event when you know when the before that event the volatility will increase so what are these events so guys election day election result day right from that point of time till the election result is out the volatility of option strikes increases pretty fast right and till the ex election result day it starts then it starts falling correct so what you can do a uh, one week before you can deploy this strategy in such scenario which is one is election day again budget day right again any result of any company you can try this strategy in the stocks also where you know that there is a result of that company is expected so before one week or 10 days you can deploy this strategy and on the result day till the result day it will easily give you a 1% kind of profit because the volatility or IV will increase till the result day correct and on the result day you have to exit that so for example on the budget day so from say one week 10 days you can deploy this and on the budget day the moment <coughs> finance minister starts the speech the employed volatility starts falling so you have to exit this strategy at that point of time okay so guys go test that on the budget day one week before the budget day if you have deployed this strategy how it would have worked and please mention in the comments right guys thanks guys this is the second part i have covered the adjustments if you have any queries please put it in the comments i will try to revert them as soon as possible right and also i have told certain scenarios which are the fixed events where you can use this strategy will give you a very good result yeah Okay guys, thanks for watching this video. Please, please subscribe our YouTube channel, right? And share our videos, like our videos. And also, you can subscribe our Telegram channel, The Option Strategist, where I keep sharing all my daily strategy updates and these knowledgeable videos so that you can learn the right way to do option trading. Thanks, thanks for watching the video. Have a nice day.